and uh, well you can see it's just a um, good juniper bush um, again like the last one I think it might have been grown for a couple of years although the roots aren't coming out the bottom as much but you can see it's just heavily root bound that'll be something to definitely work on uh, you've got a couple nice lines and when I'm picking these I'm often I feel deep in here and I feel for a thick one base sometimes there's two uh, coming up so that's kind of what I do when I'm actually looking for them and then I, I try to kind of find one that I think has a bigger thicker stalk that comes up um, but I'll, I'll trim it up a little bit underneath here uh, and then come back and walk you through a bit of my design process just want to give you a quick little show so anything what I'm doing here is trimming out anything in the inside here if you've never done a juniper before uh, you know all of this inner growth here at the base just comes right out. So often you can you can just pull it out. Um, kind of like to trim it sometimes. So all this just comes out. You know anything that's sort of in the what they call a crotch growth, which is a growth that's uh, maybe you can see that or not. Let's just see anything right in there. Uh, so you can just pull all these out, uh, and and anything sort of growing along the branches, like stuff like this. Uh, I'm just not going to use. Um, so you just go through the whole tree. And then the other thing I look for when I'm doing this here, let's see if I can see something that I would just probably take right away. Hmm. Hard to say actually on that one. So I start making design decisions, but sometimes there's a little, a branch. I've already taken a few of them off like this, this one here coming off. Hmm. hmm. Maybe you can't see, see how thin that is uh compared to everything else coming off um you know so that would be something i'll just take off i have to get my scissors again uh, here's what it looks like um trimmed up right so you can see now you can see much more in there um you know one of the first couple things i notice is that there's these two lower branches uh that these are just too low for me to utilize um, you know, you could turn the whole thing over and then you could, you can kind of use these, uh, these lower branches. Uh, if I wanted to do like a cascade or a semi cascade, you could, you could use these branches and weave them in. Uh, but I'm going to do an upright, I think. And, um, you know, one of the things I think with these kind of things is, you know, you just want to have a lot of fun. Um, you want to spend some time looking at working and practicing your design. You also just want to have, a, I think, a lot of fun. So I'm going to make quite a bit of dead wood now. Uh, something else that you notice is that this trunk here and this are relatively similar in size. So, you know, so the option I have is, if anything, this one on the left is bigger. Um, might be a bit hard to see than this this one here. Uh, but so, but it's just so straight. You know, so you get this one movement here. And I really like, you get a little to the right, a little left, to the right. Comes up, this one comes forward, or these swing up. So what I've kind of looked at this plant for a bit and I've kind of decided that I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make two, I'm going to have two, two trees and I'm going to kind of bring this down off over here uh, and maybe come in front of this a little bit lower. I really want to make this low and then I want to have another sort of tree up, up over here. So it'll be actually two branches of a tree, um, almost like a, uh, like a twin trunk almost in some way and then I'm thinking that this will probably this will probably be deadwood even though there's nice movement in it it just kind of follows this similar movement and here the movement's quite subtle and then you get this big bend um, so you know it's too too contrasted so I'm thinking this whole branch will actually be ginned So I have to come to a new decision point. I'm going to, um, this branch here and this branch here, let's see if you can see these enough. These two branches here, I think I'm, you know, and I want, I was wondering like, can I add this into it or will it pull the line? I, I'm going to actually get rid of this whole one because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to gin this, this whole piece. Um, so this, this whole section is going to go.
So I've gotten the wire on, got these gins created, opened up a bunch of space in here. And like I said, I want one lower sort of tree here. And I'm going to kind of try to maybe hide this and then one, offer one. Now I've got a bunch of these branches wired, uh, all the structure wired. Um, so the first part that I actually want to do is I'm going to bring, bring this down. So as you can see, I <laughs> it's a long came a long way since since my last little video. I was hoping to kind of take you through my process, but uh, my camera died. So a couple interesting things I talked about. You know, this being a second tree, and then having two trees, and I totally abandoned that. Um, and then what you have is a situation where this and this are pretty thick and. So the mind doesn't know, you know, you, you, you kind of get the nice silhouette of the tree. You have the sort of triangle, the apex is a little to the left. I did have it to the right, and then it felt like the tree was getting split too much. Um, and they often say you want to have the apex on the same side as the dominant side. I have heard it talked about like a somebody leaning over, drunk person leaning over and then putting their hand down. Um, I don't, I don't know if that's the best metaphor. Um, but what it is, is that there's some symmetry in the way that the, and you get some movement in the same way. So the main branch, this is the main branch here. Um, although it could be a trunk almost when you look at it from the base. Um, although this line hopefully pulls you up. Um, and so the apex I've moved over just a little bit and hopefully it'll fill out and I can get it coming forward more. Uh, and that will, will, and you know, if possible, I might even bring some of these branches down uh, to hide the thickness of this trunk, um, to, to allow the tree to come up more straight. Overall, I'm super happy with the design. It's, uh, it's, it's nice. I did, I, I like I said, I, I kind of wanted this, um, triangular shape or well, I originally wanted two trees and then I said, okay, I need to at least get the outside of it. It needs to look from a distance. It needs to look like, okay, there's a tree. There's a bonsai tree. Um, this one could actually come up just a bit. Um, and so I feel like I captured that, which is nice. And you know, you, you, you want a little asymmetry uh, on, so in and out, it's not just a straight angle, although this is quite straight. There's a little section in there and a little section in there. Um, this one I do hope to grow out a little bit more, but what's unique is I had this, um, this dead branch that actually comes off the back here. I had it coming up through the center and it created kind of cluttered the center too much anyways but then it also I could use it to off to have the weight as those part of this side of the tree is sort of died off but there was something there and sort of, kind of pulls off the weight um, but what you see is the trunk movement goes to the left first branch goes to the left apex goes to the left now it almost looks a little windswept because of this apex I had to pull this way I will turn it forward and get some of these to go that way because it almost looks like the wind is pulling it a bit too far you know like this branch i also thought oh maybe take that out but i actually like it i like it in there there's a container i made i got some nice ridges on this one i uh, made this in the winter and i have a little rock here little bits of moss take you through the tree See, I wired up quite a bit. And one of the things I learned is, because for my last tree, I wired up, uh, I didn't wire everything, and I kind of put the structural branches in, and then I had a hell of a time wiring all of these little ones. This time I actually wired a whole bunch of the little ones. Uh, and then I kind of struck, and I had the structure, and I bent the structure. 
uh, and then I realized I needed to take off branches and those branches were connected with wire to the other branch. So they were two branches connected with one wire. So I take one off and then the wires would not have the strength to hold that. So that was a bit of a problem. Probably took off six branches that I wired. Good practice for me. Uh, but I did kind of think, oh, okay, maybe structural wire first, uh, especially if I don't know which branches I'm gonna keep. Um, you know, there's some there's some funky parts in here like like this actually comes up and down and around the spin of the back of the tree there's the back end of the tree you know what's interesting is I've been wiring them I, I really noticed like I pull a lot of the branches kind of forward and I don't have much in this in the way of sort of depth and then when I you can see when I turn it around you see the the, you see the tree more right it's like you see it looks more like a tree the branches are there's more space so you can see the trunk much more um, but here you can really see that situation where your mind kind of comes up and then splits right there so you don't get nice movement and of course this crosses but and I did I did do a lot of bending and unbending with this one so that's not good because it could the, the strength of the tree you know some of the branches i had bent one way and then i re-bent them back around um so there's some heavy bends going on there i do hope to get some grow out um so you know it's it's i never quite know you know am i am i designing it right now or how far in the future and i did want to leave uh, a certain significant amount of the the branches on and the foliage on because i want the tree to survive and do well i get a little more braver each time Oh, and what I did here is I started to kind of cut away into the trunk here to kind of create the deadwood. And I may, and I eventually I'll kind of maybe connect those even more and then bring that all the way down. Um, so it looks like there's a dead, dead spiral coming through. And that'll kind of add to this, this corkscrew effect that I have going here. But like I said, I had super tons of fun doing this. This is, I think, just definitely the way to sort of start getting concepts and getting ideas. I haven't decided what to call this one yet. Um, I do like naming them because it gives it a certain feel. Um, yeah, I, ha I really haven't thought of a name yet. And you know, I could get a lot of the pads a lot, a lot, um, you know, I could bring them up a little more, cut trim more under. It's a little, it's a little bit more natural, like you don't have those pads yet, uh, but it will start to thicken out because a lot of these had shoots coming out here, 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 and there's one here. So I've kind of trimmed them all back. So that'll really push this growth out and it will give me some, a lot more to work with. Uh, and then I can start to kind of create a little bit, a little bit more pad structure if I want it to look that way. Thanks for watching and uh, please sus subscribe. Uh, it makes all the difference and like the videos. It's amazing how many people view these videos. <laughs> I'm just shocked and I, it, it, it just, it, it keeps me going. Um, I really, really appreciate it when people like the video and subscribe and 